State police say the man wanted for the murders of three people in Shreveport last night has been shot and killed in Franklin Parish. Good evening, I'm Jackie Jovic. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. NBC 6's Darren Todd has been following this story all day. He joins us now live at Shreveport Police Headquarters, sharing reaction from neighbors. Darren, good evening to you. Hey, good evening, Dan and Jackie. Yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, community members in West Cedar Grove say that that's not the neighbor that they know, and they're actually stunned. Now they have to stay with, they have to remember the painful memory of what happened just a few feet away from their homes. No, he is a good person. You know, we wouldn't figure he would be nothing like that. This is what neighbors on West 82nd Street in Shreveport say where the tragedy took place. According to Shreveport police, they received a phone call shortly before 145 Thursday morning. They discovered the bodies of two adults and a 12 year old who had been shot to death. 36 year old Barry Rigsby was the prime suspect. He was a good guy for what we know of. You know, he was a lot younger than I was, so uh, we know they had a family problem because you would see the cops over there every other weekend. It's like sometimes more than that. Rook has owned a body shop since the 1980s and knew the victims through his business. How many times has something like this happened in this neighborhood? We had got used to it. I guess about six months. I, I said six months period. They were probably over there about 18 to 19 times in that period of time. Rigsby was shot and killed in Franklin Parish around 2.30 Thursday evening in western Louisiana after running from law enforcement. This morning, and the guy come up out the canal, that big canal over there, and he had a pistol. Well, before he come up, I heard some shooting. I don't know what he was shooting, but he was shooting. And then he come up out the canal and ran to apartment 20 and went in, never did come back out. Neighbors and witnesses say they're glad it's over. Darren Todd, NBC6 News. While the search for Barry Rigsby ended more than two hours from Shreveport, the ripple effects of the murders are being felt greatly at home. NBC 6's Maddie Weiris joins us now, sharing more on one teen who was a victim. Maddie, what did you learn today? Well, one of the victims of this senseless murder is a student at a local Shreveport High School, and I went there today to talk to staff about his impact on the school. It's been a, a sad vibe. Students at Booker T. Washington High School finding out about the tragic news of their classmate Thursday morning. The security guard at the high school tells us what that looked like. I was on the hallway first thing this morning. I saw another kid consoling a kid. So uh, we have some great kids over here. And They've been uh, really holding together real good. The victim, described as a good kid, was a senior who played on the Washington Lions varsity football team. No issues out of him. You know, it hit a lot of people kind of hard. And, you know, it's this senseless killing. We got to do something other than uh, just keep saying we're going to have prayer walls, prayer vigils. We got to step in and start talking to people and seeing where people hurt. Now the healing process begins with the help of emotional support inside the school. We've got quite a few people on campus who uh, the kids trust and they come in and talk to them and you know we have open arms over here and we got a great great staff and great people on campus who uh, really look out for each other. Maddie Weiris, NBC6 News. And as we just heard, the victim was on the school's football team. They face off against Woodlawn at Independence Stadium tomorrow night, and we're trying to figure out if the team will be doing anything to honor the victim. For now, reporting live in Shreveport, I'm Maddie Weiris, NBC6 News. So many lives impacted. Thank you very much, Maddie.